that we're going to look at is how does temperature affect the melting rate and our claim is that the higher the temperature the faster the melting rate so we have three glasses of water here one cold one room temperature and one hot and we have these ice cubes that we colored with food coloring and we're going to place one in each and then compare for the melting rate for about 30 seconds Alright, so the time's up, and when we look cup from cup, the cold glass has virtually the same ice cube left in it, and the water's about the same color as it was. The room temperature glass has a slightly smaller ice cube with a slight green tint, and the cup of hot water has no ice cube left and is the most green of the three, showing that our claim was correct. Our next testable question is how does the concentration of salt aff affect the melting rate? So what we have is three glasses of room temperature water, two tablespoons of salt here, four tablespoons here, and six tablespoons here. And we're going to put in an ice cube in each one. And our claim is that the higher the concentration, the faster the melting rate. And we're going to time it for 30 seconds. Ready, go. took out the ice cubes and we noticed that the one with the most salt is the smallest. Which proves our claim, the higher the concentration, the faster the melting rate. Alright, so our testable question is, how does different amount of water affect the melting rate? And our claim is, the cup with the larger amount of water will have more thermal energy, which will melt the ice faster. And what we have here are three different cups. But different amount of water. So this one has the lowest, this one is the middle, and then this one has the most amount of water. And we're going to put an ice cube in each one for 30 seconds and see which one melts the fastest. Alright, one, two, three. Okay, so after 30 seconds, even though there's not that much of a difference, this one stayed bigger. This is the one with the less amount of water, and this was the one with the most amount of water. There's a difference between these two. So our claim was correct. Um.